Hello and welcome to DCSA 10. In this video I'm going to demonstrate a visual approach. And this visual approach could be the terminal visual approach and landing. This um, visual approach could be the terminal phase from a pattern or an overhead or an ATC assess the landing. We're probably a little bit far out for an overhead but the same principles apply in terms of controlling and setting up the aircraft. So if we look out to our southeast there we can you can see the runway and we need to be turning in to start intercepting the flight line. We know it's Sanaki and it's a 090 approach. Note also that my speed is down and we need to be we need to be coming on to approach at uh, approximately well less than 210 220 knots um, I would suggest a speed low enough to be able to deploy gear so I'm going to put on air brakes to help me take down the speed. You can see we're still a little bit offset. So we can bring our, our gear down now. And flaps. At this town, which is just in front of us here, it's that's the five mile limit. So we should be around 1500. Uh, just reaching the perimeter of that town so five miles and 1500 should get, give us enough to set up for a decent uh, descent rate So we're going to start watching our flight path marker and the job is that on touchdown we need to have the flight path marker at the end of the runway and we also need to have our donut green. For the very final phase we're going to flare, we're going to forget about the symbology. Okay, So that looks like a reasonable setup. Just dumb down the so we can see clearly okay so I'm looking here on where our descent rate is probably 500 600 feet per minute well, we probably should be a little bit higher than that so I'm going to drop back on the throttle and this will force us to increase our angle of attack a little bit that looks better we're at about 800 now that would give us a good line so there should be very little adjustments after this just um, small adjustments to the throttle and to keep ourselves online little left and right adjustments of the stick at the final phase altitude, we're going to flare altitude and drop back our throttle so we don't bounce because we want our VVI here to be maybe 200 or 300 okay we've changed our pitch a little bit there which has driven us up in altitude so we need to drop down a little bit okay that looks better you have to be careful not to overcook it on the throttle because it takes a long time to spool up. You tend to overdo it. So we're coming in close, ready to the flare. So now I'm starting to flare. Notice my vertical velocity indicator is starting to rise and I'm pulling back on the throttle. So we have a nice gentle touch down. Let the nose down gently and then full brakes. OK, 
okay so on a visual approach it's important to be giving yourself plenty of time to set up until you become very familiar with the process try and get into um, the correct aircraft configuration of angle of attack gear flaps deployed as early as possible certainly outside the five mile mark you should be hitting the five mile mark at around 1500 feet and then it's keeping the flight path marker on the threshold of the runway using the throttle only and keeping your alignment with the runway using a little bit of yaw on the stick. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.